I just want to say tonight, I thought Invenergy was coming here to show us a new water plant. <laughs> and I didn't see it. Ellis, you know, I'm really, really uneducated. But as far as I know, again, we didn't see a new water plant. It's sort of like a waste of time. We came here prepared for last night and tonight to see something new. So what I want to say is, and Invenergy says it's a good neighbor. I disagree. This good neighbor happens to be a huge power plant, storing and using huge amounts of flammable hydrogen gas, flammable natural gas, diesel fuel, and hazardous ammonia. It should realize that an evacuation plan is needed. It would want to protect those neighbors. Instead, Invenergy has stated in Bartle's data request, question number 27-2, and I quote, there is no evacuation zone for the project, nor is one required. There is no anticipated project conditions which would require an evacuation, end quote. This was dated July 18, 2017. It was in the same data request where Inventity finally, after almost two years, revealed the true volume of 100,000 cubic feet of hydrogen gas. Yes, hydrogen gas. What about the dangers of all the residents who live less than a mile from the proposed site? Are these actions of a good neighbor? No. Inventory states that the probability of explosions is 1 in 100,000 years. This does not mean that it will, not only ha will only happen at the tail end of 100,000 years. It may happen on day one, it may happen on the first month, it may happen in the first year of its operations. Invenergy has stated several times, and I quote, Invenergy will coordinate the development of emergency response procedures with local authorities such as the EMT, police, fire, department services, and these organizations can provide local experience in input to the final emergency response procedures employed at the Clear River Energy Center facility. So it seems that Invenergy is more concerned about the well-being of their employees, but not its residential neighbors. And it also, to date, Invenergy has not met or talked to any local fire, EMT, police departments, or even the dispatch center. Can they even handle this if, if there was a true emergency there? Is that being a good neighbor? No. Why did the town of Barlow have to submit 40 data requests with over 400 questions to Invenergy? I will tell you why. Because Invenergy has not been forthcoming with important issues concerning their proposed power plant safety. The town of Barlow needed to ask those 400 plus questions in order to make arrangements to keep their residents safe. Not only did Barlow ask questions that protected the Barlow residents, but they asked questions in order to protect the state residents. This is not an Indian issue. This is a statewide issue. Is Invenergy being a good neighbor to the state of Rhode Island? No. If this proposed power plant is so efficient, so state-of-the-art, so safe, so wonderful, then why has Invenergy been so secretive and so deceitful? Why hide the water sources? Why hide the amount of hydrogen gas? Why is the application and documents full of only estimates? How can the EFSB approve such a huge and dangerous project that has no guarantees? Thank you, ma'am. Robert, wait for the